Alright, hey guys, MJ here from Nightcore Singapore. Today we're going to look at the new 21700 Lantern Charging Set. Okay, what it can do and why you should get this if you use any of the new flashlights like the i4000R, P20i, right, or even the older new P12, right? So first up, what can it do for you, right? So last year, this wasn't possible, right? So having a battery like this, and then you put on a lantern here, it doesn't turn on because you can't use a, a battery as a direct power source. But now you can, right? So with these new HBR batteries, you can directly use this battery as a light like this. Look at that. You can use, let's say, this power bank to top up this battery. You can use this battery to top up this power bank. It goes two ways. You can also use this battery to charge your phone. Same battery to power a flashlight, right? So all this is possible because of Nightcore's breakthrough in two key areas. First is power density, meaning how much power you can jam into a battery of this size. Okay. Second is double polarity, meaning the positive and negative ends of the battery are all pushed up to the top. Right, you see this black ring here? This is positive, this is negative. Right, they combine it all at the top, but still retaining the negative at the bottom. So it does work as a normal plus minus battery on all kinds of lights and chargers and batteries, but you can start to use these kind of cool attachments as well, right? So why should you care about these two things, right? Let me put it in perspective. The dual polarity lets you add attachments like this lantern here, right? Which gives you a nice 80 lumen high CRI lantern light. Right, yes, you can also get that with the LA10 here and one AA battery. I'm going to show you how this looks like. So this LA10, if you're familiar with it, you sort of turn it out and then you have a lantern here and then you turn it on, one, two, three. There, right? So now you have the same 80 lumens lantern light. Here's where the power density comes in. Because of all the power they managed to jam into this battery, right? You can run this for 19 hours okay the la10 can only run for one and a half hours right to get it to match 19 hours you need uh, 12 aa batteries okay 12 aa batteries just to get it the same brightness and the same runtime all right but for this one once you burn through the 19 hours right all you gotta do is swap out the batteries you know and then you can uh, solar charge this and then just rinse and repeat right just 19 hours done just swap for the LA10, once it burns through 19 hours, you need another 12, you know, battery sets here. And then as more and more and more, then you get another 12 just to burn through another 19 hours. Okay, so you, you see the difference now? One battery is equivalent of 12 AA batteries, right? When it comes to, you know, illumination like this. They can pack so much more power into a single battery now, it's just crazy, right? And the accessories can be so much smaller because of the double polarity. Which brings me to the next attachment, this tiny thing right here. So this is what you get in the box, right? So if you open it up, you get the battery, the lantern, and this charger, right? This one I'm gonna talk about here. This is actually a magnetic charger. Look at this, all right? This is possibly the smallest uh, USB charger in the world right just tack it on like this okay plug it in to let's say a power bank source and now it's charging your battery so you can see on the indicator here when it's blinking red it is charging when this turns constant blue it means the battery is fully charged okay so in the past you need at least a ui1 charger right something like this ui1 or the ums2 to charge batteries like this but now all you need is this tiny thing right here Okay, look at the, the, the size, uh, the space savings, right? It's huge, right? Imagine if you, you go on travel and you need to bring a charger, just pack two or three of these and then you can charge multiple batteries, just tack, 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 multiple batteries at the same time. And if one of your chargers get damaged, right, you have redundancy, you have spares to charge, right? But that's not all. This charger also works both ways. You can charge it in through this micro USB port here and you can charge out using this USB port here. So this solves a ton of problems when it comes to power management, right? So, so here's the problem today. You buy a new flashlight and then you have to invest in batteries to use the flashlight. And those batteries you invested could only be used for one thing only, which is to power your flashlight. That's why it feels expensive upfront. So let's say I bought the MP2A light and I invested in rechargeable AA batteries to power it, right? These kinds of uh, Fujitsu double A's. But if I was in, in, in an emergency situation and my phone is dead, I cannot take the power of the AA batteries and put it in my phone, right? 
Each battery has an average capacity of about 1,500 milliampere. So if I just take a little bit of power here and put it in my iPhone uh, XR, which has a capacity of about 5,000 milliampere, I could make a few calls to get help. You know, but right now I can't. Right, these these are just sitting here as spares, and and there's not really nothing I can do with them. So you can see in a survival situation where you don't have access to no power for days, you're basically going to be stuck in a bad situation. Now Nikko has tried to solve this issue with the previous 18650 battery. So if you bought a light in the past two years, you could use the battery from say your MH25 GT, right? You get a 18650 battery like this, right? Which you can combine with one of these like F1, F2 and even add the F4 chargers. So this is how this used to work. You plug it in like this and now this charger can charge a battery via micro USB and you can also use this battery as a power bank out. Right, you can also top this up with your solar panel. But the cost and effectiveness of carrying this around is not worth the money because of the battery density. So take this example, right? This F1 charger combined with this 3200 battery could only charge half my phone. Right? And if you were to invest in the most expensive, let's say the 3500 batteries here, and run it on the F2 charger, right? for example, at most you will get a 7,000 mAh power bank. Right? So that charges your phone maybe one and a half times and that will cost you more than if you were to just get a 10,000 mAh power bank just for your phone. Right? So the numbers aren't worth it. Now with these batteries, you can at 5,000 mAh, these are basically you know, mini power banks. You can get more bang for your buck because of all the different things you can use it for. Now back to the emergency scenario earlier, right? Because of how much power these can hold, I can pop it out of my light. Let's say I have the P20i. So this comes with a 4,000 or 5,000 mAh battery. Right, I can use this, pop this on, put on a cable, charge my phone, half power, and I can still pop this back into my light. No, and use it at night. And that's possible again because of the 5,000 milliampere capacity. Okay, these are right now the highest capacity batteries on the market anywhere that you can buy, right? You know, we used to bring these huge 20,000 milliampere power banks to Mongolia and then they would use it as a charging station where everyone would plug their devices in to charge with the limited ports on the power bank. And then the danger would be if this one big power bank gets damaged, right? Everyone is screwed. So the equivalent of 20,000 milliampere power bank is actually you know, just 4 batteries of 5,000 each which you can distribute to anyone who needs it and if someone loses it, everyone else has spares, right? So you imagine the amount of space savings that you have in your bag. This, I'll give you some perspective, this uh, 10,000 10, milliampere equals this gigantic power bank here. Right, so you, you're basically splitting the power, these tiny little batteries that you can hold and carry anywhere and everyone can carry spares, right? Because the guys that are you know, using the modern lights would already have these batteries. So these are considered spares and also power banks for whatever devices you need. If you're concerned about, you know, battery uh, longevity, like will this be out of stock soon or not? You know, no. This is the main battery that Nightcore and many other lighting manufacturers will use moving forward because these are now mass produce. So these are exciting times as we start to see all kinds of new devices that make use of such high power density and these double polarity designs. So this lantern attachment is only the beginning. There are many, many more uh, exciting things that are going to come up. If you already run flashlights like these, right, the P20i, which uses these 21700 batteries, then these are without a doubt, you know, the best value thing that you can buy today, these lantern sets. So these are all in stock now at nightcallites.com. It's $79 per set. And what you get inside are these. Right, you get the 5000 mAh HPI battery, a lantern set, and the tiny little charger here. Okay? So you can also buy the battery like this externally. This costs $59. And then to charge this, you can buy the UI1 like this. Right? But this added together it costs, costs you $78. But you still miss out on this very cool lantern set here. Especially if you buy in bulk of uh, 3 or 10, you know there's a bulk discount. And if you need to go for 3 installments, it's there as well via the Atomic option. So there's literally no excuse to not take advantage of these incredible new uh, battery sets. Okay? And if you want even tighter control, like you want the displays on the traditional UMS chargers, you can add something like this. This is a voltage reader. So I'm going to show how it works battery here. Tack on the mini charger. Then tack on the... USB reader like this. 
So once it's on, you can basically see the voltage of the battery. Here, so I'm gonna charge, let's say, my uh, camera battery here with a night call external charger. So I'm just gonna tag it on here, and there you go. Alright, so now you see this contraption here is charging my camera battery. Okay, so you can hear, here, these are the milliampers that have gone out, you know, the time it takes on top, and then the voltage here. So you, so you basically have a full display on such a tiny thing like this, right? You, you don't actually have to go, and go out and buy the UMS2 or the more expensive chargers. If you are on the go, you need space in your bag and you want to carry the least possible amount of things on your trip, then you know this is the way to go, okay? So everything I've mentioned here is in the description below. So just order the quantity you need and then we'll ship this to you in 4 to 6 working days, okay? So that's it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, just subscribe below and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, MJ signing out.